Link Server Overview, Live Meeting with Atlanta Active Directory User Group, Part 2, the one with Exchange and Office Integration. My name is Tony, and I'll be the English cover for this presentation made by Fabrizio Volpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. Using the standard Outlook client, we see the status, the presence information of the person, and we have the tools to launch a call, maybe a telephone call, or a conference, or IM, and so on. The real interesting thing is that we are able to know the status of a contact, the aforementioned presence, also from Outlook Web App, OWA, and so we see the enhanced presence also from a web interface. Exchange 2010 Outlook Web App is able to integrate with Link Chat, and we also have the capability to modify our presence status from OWA. We can list the contacts in our Outlook and see their status from Outlook Web App, OWA, and we don't have two separated lists. We don't have exchange contacts and link contacts. A single list is available, and that's exchange and link together. So if we add a person from link, we have the person also in exchange. We have tried to show the integration with the meeting creation and calendar, so we are able to use the status information in every operation we do from Outlook. We said that link and OWA integration is native, but we have to make operations to make it work. There's a document on the TechNet, the link to the document is here on the right, that is a full explanation on how to set up web app and link server integration. Link and Exchange are also able to work together if we want to manage unified messaging. We know that Exchange unified messaging enables us to have voicemail and to have a notification for missed calls, as well as to manage our call answering. We have three examples. First example, the user calls us. After a defined number of rings, the caller is redirected to the voicemail, and they're able to leave a voicemail message. We then see the voicemail message in our Outlook, and we are able to manage it through Link as well. We are also able, in the aforementioned scenario, to recall the telephone number from Link. Here's another example. The user makes a call, and after a couple of rings, the telephone hangs up, and the user is redirected to a voicemail. And in the final example, we don't wait for the rings, but we were able to say directly, leave a voicemail message, because at the moment, the person we are calling is not connected to our system. And that's something that we can manage directly from the client. The integration with Office, the last version of the Office 2013, that's in review at the moment, integrates Link with the Office suite in a seamless manner. If we have Office 2010 and we want to use Link 2010, we have to install the Link client on the top of the Office installation. So we're talking of an additional product. We said that Link 2013 is really integrated inside Office, and we have the add-ins. For example, we were able to share a document with Link. Let's say we launch Word and we open up another document. From the File menu, Share tab, we have our Word program that's ready to share a document with another Link user. It's a powerful instrument, especially if we remember that we are able to federate or to connect with external companies. If we have enabled federation with Microsoft Live or with Yahoo or with another external link system, we are able to share a document with an external user as well as share the document with link users inside of our company. An integration that's new in Link 2013 is the integration with OneNote. We are able to share our personal notes and we are able to share a notice about a meeting. That's something given by default inside Link 2013. Talking about the existing client, the Link 2010, there is a compatibility list. Not every version of Office has the same identical capabilities when we integrate Link. To make it simple, if we use the pair, Office 2010 and Link 2010, we have all the features. If we use an older version of Office, a lot of the functions are not available to us. Here is the full list of features we have only if we use Office 2010 and Link 2010. The contact cards, the quick search from Outlook, the link contact list in the Outlook to-do bar, and so on. The best of the best that we have only if we use the full pair of Office in the link in the last version, instant messaging, a question that people often ask is why we should use link to make something easy like instant messaging. We know it's enough to install a simple client to have instant messaging. The first thing to say is that with link we have the full control of the instant messaging. Moreover, the conversations are always encrypted, so our internal and external messaging chat is always transmitted in a secure manner. We are also able to enforce the use of a single messaging client. Using the link policies, we are able to decide that, for example, 
only Link 2010 client is accepted on our system. The aforementioned integration with Outlook means that IM conversations can be saved automatically, and we are able to search for them as we would a standard email message. Link IM is in some ways different from a basic third-party or Microsoft IM client. There was a question about the archiving aspect of Lincoln Outlook. We understand that's something important from the compliance point of view. We have two kinds of archiving working together at the same time, Outlook Conversations folder and Link Archiving role. We are able to manage archiving using policies and the controls or on retention time, on archived information scope, and so on. Archiving role is based on an SQL database so we have tools to export, import, backup, and restore our data. We have two policy tabs in Link Control Panel dedicated to archiving. Back to the client policies, we are able to decide, for example, that the old Office Communication Server client is not to be used with our Link environment. We disable it simply using policy, but with the same instrument we manage client updates. Link Enhanced Presence. Link has a lot of indicators to say if a person is online, that they're available to work, and so on. Here we see a list of the present status symbols from green to red. In addition, we have the location information and the integrations with the client. So if a person is busy at the phone, we'll see them automatically in red or busy status. If we're interested in developing software that talks with Link, there's a Microsoft document related to the presence schema and to the XML information available for the aforementioned use. Link does a lot of things out of the box, so we don't need often to develop customized software. A user is also enabled to apply privacy status information and people not in their friend or family groups will have access only to basic information. Contacts with a high level of trust have access to our working hours, phone numbers, and more. Moving a person from one group to another changes the information we publish for them through Link Client.